guys, this is Haley from OneOnRabbits.com and today I'm going to be filming my March cage tour. So first off, I'll start with the main part of the cage. So right over on the left here, we have two litter boxes and their big hay tube like normal. And also right over here, we have their two water dishes. So some of you may have noticed, but the NIC Heidi House is different than before. It has um, an extra level on it. So in the doorway, I just have some baby chains hanging down. The rabbits have really enjoyed running through those and um, just taking their teeth and throwing them out of the way. So what is new is I added an extra grid on top and made a little wall on top of the Heidi house. The reason I did this was because the rabbits were starting to chew the windowsill and the mesh I have covering it up didn't go up high enough for when they were sitting on top of their little house. So I just added a little wall and put um, one of their little beds up there. So far they haven't really been going up on top as much because they have been really enjoying sleeping underneath. So I don't know if we can see inside very well, but actually Mocha and Ebony are both cuddling um, in the Heidi house. It is so cute. They're both stretched out. I'm going to see if I can get a better shot of it. So they were both sleeping together, but when I um, moved the baby chains, they both kind of woke up and I kind of startled them. But they have been so cute. They've been cuddling all day long. Um, Mocha really loves Ebony and Ebony really loves Mocha. Um, Mocha and Lulu, I mean Ebony and Lulu have been getting along a little better. There is less chasing so I'm really happy about that. So here's the corner of the cage. There isn't much here. Um, I pretty much just have a few random toys laying around and there's also a chair pad underneath there. So onto the long part of the cage. I have their willow teepee and as you can see they have chewed quite a bit of it and it's not much of a hidey house anymore but the rabbits really enjoy um, sleeping in it as you can see Lulu's in it right now. Then right outside of it we just have a few toys and then their blue hidey hut. And in the far corner is two litter boxes and a hay tube. This part is new, I just added three grids on the back so I could attach the hay tube on it and two extra litter boxes. This is, um, I'm just trying this out so there's more litter boxes and less accidents because the rabbits have still been having a, a few accidents. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just behavioral. I'm hoping it's not anything um, medical or anything like that. So I now have four litter boxes in the cage at a time. So here's the floor area of the cage. I just have their cottontail cottage and there are two play tubes that I use for agility and you would have seen that in Lulu's tricks video. And over there is their veggie plate. Normally I have it on the ground but since I just finished cleaning I put it up there for when I was vacuuming so it wouldn't get in the way. And now it's time for the monthly challenge. As you may have noticed um, I did complete last month's monthly challenge which was to buy a new rug but I actually did not buy a rug. I bought um, just some carpet. I think I bought about six feet or something like that. I think I bought about six or eight feet of carpet and then it was 12 feet the other direction. So it covers a lot more of my floor, which I like. Um, but the thing I don't like is because it's not a rug, it doesn't have any edging around it. So if you didn't know what I meant by edging, I pretty much just meant like that cloth material that um, goes like around the corner of the carpet pretty much. And because it doesn't have that, all this little fraying is happening and it's super annoying and I'm kind of scared the rabbits will start chewing it. So if you guys have any ideas on like how to stop that. Like, I was thinking about putting tape around it. Um, I wondered if they sold some sort of carpet tape that you could fold around the edge to make it not, I don't know, fray. So, I don't know. I'm just going to look online to see if I can find anything, but if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below. So, now it's time for this month's monthly challenge. And as you remember, a few months ago, I put up some wooden letters of Mocha and Lulu's name above the window. So recently I picked up Ebony's name 
and um, I just had hers in the black letters which is the same as Mocha's name and I'm going to be putting them up on the wall somewhere here in the bunny room um, but I thought you guys might enjoy helping me um, deciding where to put them. Um, because Mocha and Lulu are centered above the window, I really like how that looks. I've thought about moving Mocha and Lulu's name over and then just having Mocha further over here and then Lulu in the middle and then Ebony on the right. Um, but I'm not sure if that would look good. Another thing I could do is put Ebony's name up there above that windowsill. Um, the thing is I feel like it would look a little awkward because it's like all alone above the window and Mocha and Lulu's names are right next to each other. Um, so yeah, just leave your suggestions down below if you have any other ideas. And that's pretty much it for this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!